Christina here. We'll be doing a oral mechanism exam on our client. Thank you for coming in today. What's your name? I'm Liana. Hi, Liana. Thank you for coming in and participating in an oral motor examination. So the materials we have set up are a pair of gloves, two Q-tips, a big Q-tip, a tongue depressor, and a pen light. Oral mechanism exam will be done to uh, look at the functioning of her cranial nerves and if there are any abnormalities in her oral, oral cavity and how her speech sounds and um, see if any of her nerves are damaged, the facial nerve or the hypoglossal nerve or um, the vagus nerve or any other nerves that are in charge of innervating your, the speech muscles and producing and articulating proper speech. Um, the purpose of this oral mechanism exam is to analyze all those functions and to see if she she has a, a possible uh, motor speech disorder or any other um, speech disorders. So we're gonna start by looking at her uh, her face to see um, how her lips sit at rest and and um, if there's any facial asymmetry or any drooping. So first we're gonna look and see that her face is symmetrical and her lips are symmetrical there are no abnormal um, muscles or any bulk of tissue growing there there is no drooping on either side so her lips are are within normal limits uh, pucker your lips Good job she's able to pucker her lips that shows her facial nerve is properly innervating her her lip muscles uh, smile Good job. She's able to smile properly and there's no drooping on either side. Pucker and smile back to back. Perfect. She's able to manipulate her her lips back and forth. Try pop, 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 pop. Good job. So she's able to um, alternate her um, her lip closures and that and her AMR rate is appropriate. The strength of her lips will be measured by putting the tongue depressor between her. Okay, she's resisting the tongue depressor, which shows her lips are uh, functioning properly. That is part of the facial nerve, um, cranial nerve number seven. It is innervating her lips. Um, okay, so everything with her lips is within functional limits, so within normal limits. We're going to move on to the tongue. Hypoglossal nerve is in charge of the tongue, um, innervating the tongue, uh, the, the back of the tongue. The front of the tongue is innervated by the facial nerve. So let's see, um, we're going to start by protrude your tongue. Good job. Take it back, all the way back. Perfect. She's able to maneuver her tongue, so her hypoglossal nerve is functioning properly. Now we're going to lick your lips. Put your, put your tongue inside the left cheek, right cheek, good job. Okay, now we're going to test the strength of her tongue. We're going to test that by putting the tongue depressor against her tongue to see if she resists the strength. Um, and this also goes hand in hand with the hypoglossal nerve because um, that's, what, um, that's what innervates the tongue muscle. So let's see, so we're going to put the tip against tongue. Resistance present, and we're going to put the left side of the tongue. Perfect. Right side. Everything seems within normal limits. Elevate the tongue, please. Good job. And down. Against cheek, please. Other cheek, please. Thank you. She's able to resist the the pressure against her lip. Uh, I mean against her tongue, which shows that her hypoglossal nerve is intact. All right, let's move on to tongue sensitivity. Um, so I'm going to ask you to close your eyes, and I will touch certain places of your tongue. You have to tell me where I'm touching. Alright, 
so all the all the parts of her tongue are have the same amount of sensitivity and she's able to recognize the sensitivity on her tongue okay now we're moving on to um, soft palate so let's actually look inside her mouth to see if there's any deviations or um, if there's any abnormal muscle bulk or any uh, atrophy or fasciculation going on her, in, her, in her tongue or on her tongue. Her uh, tongue texture is appropriate within normal limits. Her palate is appropriate. It is um, not separated at midline. It is it is within normal limits. So her mid, um, there is no deviation at midline. And um, now I'm going to ask you to say, ah, ah. I'm going to watch to see if she raises her palate. Ah. Yeah. Her palate does elevate. And the palate is innervated by the vagus nerve. So it shows that the cranial nerve number 10 is also intact. Um, I'm going to test her palatal gag reflex. So I will place the Q-tip towards the back um, to see if she feels that sensitivity. She's highly sensitive, which means her vagus nerve is definitely intact. Her gag reflex is, is within normal limits. All right, I'm going to ask you to uh, say, ah, 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 ah. I see her, I see her palate elevating and going down, shows that um, her vagus nerve is intact and within normal limits. All right, let's move on to the facial nerve. So once again, we're going to look at the face to see if there's any asymmetry. Um, her face at rest does not have any abnormal um, characteristics. Please puff your cheeks. Trying to see if her facial nerve is intact. Okay, her symmetry is within normal limits, and she's able to symmetrical, symmetrically puff her cheeks. Okay, we're going to test her um, touch sensitivity. Please close your eyes, and I'm going to touch your cheek, and you have to tell me which side I'm touching. All right, now let's move on to trigeminal nerve number five, cranial nerve number five, and which is in charge of innervating the mandible. We're going to check her, her jaw range of motion and um, to see how, she, how she's able to rapidly maneuver her jaw, open, close mouth, and, and such things. So let's try with open your mouth as wide as possible. So she's able to open her mouth adequately. She does not have any, any, do you have any pain? No, she does not have any pain. Um, uh, her, her act of doing it is not slow or really fast. It's within normal limits and she does not have any difficulties opening her jaw. So her trigeminal nerve is intact. Open and close really fast. She does not have any trouble doing so. And move your... Okay, this shows she does not have any motor difficulties. Um, and the trigeminal nerve is intact. Let's move on to the vagus nerve. We're going um, to check her vocal quality and her volitional cough. So, try, ah, sustain, ah. She's able to sustain ah. Her voice does not sound raspy or strained or harsh or breathy. It is appropriate and with, a, with a adequate volume. It's not mono pitch or mono loudness. It decreases appropriately. It does not sound wet or gurgly. Um, and she's able to perform it appropriately and try to cough. <coughs> okay, her cough also sounds... It sounds strong and forceful. It does not sound wet or um, or harsh. Okay, so the larynx with the vocal quality and the cough is innervated by the vagus nerve. Um, 
So all her cranial nerves are intact. Um, overall, she has appropriate muscle tone and her range of motion of her facial muscles are appropriate. Um, her tongue texture is intact and it doesn't have any abnormalities. Um, and her all cranial nerves are working appropriately and innervating the necessary or necessary oral um, articulators, which allows her to produce speech and in appropriate manner. All right, um, that is the end of our oral mechanism exam. Liana, thank you for coming in today, and um, hope you have a good day. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you.